Hello everyone. In this video we'll be synthesizing fluorescein. Fluorescein is a very useful compound. In biology it is used as a fluorescent tracer to track cells. In ophthalmology fluorescein sodium, the sodium salt of fluorescein, is used as a diagnosis of corneal abrasions and contact lens fitting. In forensics it is used to detect latent blood stains and it is also known as yellow number seven. For the purposes of this video we're going to show just a few of its physical properties. To begin you'll need to add 100 milligrams of phthalic anhydride to a test tube. Watch Nerd Rage's video on how to make luminol. He makes phthalic anhydride from lab gloves. Also user UC235 has a video on synthesizing phthalic acid, which is easy to convert to phthalic anhydride. Next, you'll need to add 100 milligrams of resorcinol to the test tube. Now add three to four drops of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid to the test tube. After addition of the sulfuric acid, you'll need to gently heat the test tube for two to three minutes. As the compounds turn liquid and mix, you'll notice that they will take on a blood red color. This is to be expected. After the time has elapsed, let the tube cool to room temp. After the tube cools down, add 5 to 10 milliliters of water and stir with a glass rod to break up any solids. Any solids that do not dissolve are byproducts and unreacted reactants. You can filter them out later if you want. Once everything is mixed well, start adding a solution of concentrated sodium hydroxide until the solution becomes basic. Once you've done this, you're done with your synthesis and can now filter your solution to remove any solids. Now we can start to explore some of the interesting properties of this compound. I think the most interesting is how it reacts to transmitted and reflected light. When I flash a white light behind the test tube, the transmitted light takes on a reddish orange color. However, when I change and shine the light onto the test tube, the reflected light is green. This is by far its strangest property in my opinion. For it to work, the fluorescein must be in its concentrated red color. As you dilute the fluorescein, the red color disappears and the water takes on a yellow-green color, and the effect can no longer be noticed. Though I didn't film it, one of the more interesting things to do is to take the tube outside and change lighting conditions. Since some of the light is transmitted and some is reflected, you get these strange effects where one side of the tube is green and the other is red. If you synthesize this compound, be sure to give this a try. Of course, the most common thing people notice about fluorescein is that it fluoresces bright green under ultraviolet light. While there are many videos of this effect, I couldn't help myself and had to try filming some of the cool shots of fluorescein being dropped into water under ultraviolet light. So the rest of this video is just footage to that effect. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching.